Uh, this video is probably gonna suck, but it's late and my college applications are due on Friday. This weekend I went to this place. I don't know if you can read that. Whoops. Which is the college that I want to go to. I wasn't going to tell you guys this because then it would be really disappointing if I didn't get in on December 20 December 15th and then I would be sad and I don't have to tell you guys that I didn't get in. But I'm going to be confident and I'm going to tell you because then if I do get in it'll be great. And I stayed with friends who go to school in Boston and it was really fun and it was nice getting the whole college experience and you know It'll be nice to live on my own next year and not have to, you know, answer to anyone, which is a very teenagery thing to say, but, you know, I think it'll be nice. Kelly, you asked me to talk about something that I'm really passionate, so I'm going to talk about Emerson, and maybe an admissions counselor from Emerson will see this, this video, and they'll be like, she loves our school so much that she even made a YouTube video about it, so we have to accept her. So I'm going to talk about Emerson. Well, Emerson is a school uh, for communication and the arts, and I don't know if you guys know about this, but I want to be a film production major. And Emerson's whole theme is bringing innovation to communication and the arts. And they, this might be actually really boring to you guys, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. But they, they integrate liberal arts education with whatever you want to major in. So since I'm studying film, I can also do like sociology and psychology, because those are things that affect the way a person watches a film and the way a person acts in a film and makes a film. So that's why I love Emerson because it's not one-sided and they also train you to actually get a job. It's just not like a theory. They know they teach you how to actually do the stuff that will get you a job. So I really want to go there. I also, it's just I fit in with everyone there. I feel very at home when I go there. I think I'll be happy there. So hopefully uh, when I send them my application and I say, Hey, I like you guys. Do you like me back? They will send me a letter back and they will say, Yes, we like you. Come with us to the place of learning in the metropolis of Boston and it will be great. Okay, I'm gonna reinstate the challenge that I made, I think two weeks ago, um, because no one ever did it. So, um,. I think that someone should do my challenge, but Kelly, you don't have to still be the person. I'll pick a new person. So the person that I pick has to go to BarackObama.com and find someone to call in anywhere. Just convince them to vote for Barack Obama, and you'll be making a better world. Oh, Kelly again. Well, Kelly, if you really have issues with it, I can select a new person, but you know, I think you can handle it. I forgot to say my movie of the week last week, um, and my movie of the week is not out yet. However, when it comes out, my movie of the week is Paper Towns. It's not made yet, but it's gonna be awesome. So get excited. I know I've already mentioned that I want to be a filmmaker in this video, and it's kind of funny how I'm talking about it twice since I've never mentioned it in a video before, but sometimes I listen to songs and I think, this would be great for this scene in Paper Towns, or this would be great for that scene in Paper Towns, and I go, wow, part of me really hopes that it's postponed long enough for me to be, like, 25 when they actually make it, and then I can actually be a part of it. I think that would be awesome. So since I'm filming this from a new angle, I'm going to show you guys my kind of, like, shrine to nerd dumb on my wall. So that's the awesome finger painting that Paige made me and then sent me which I treasure. That is the poster I made for Hank's birthday, which a bunch of my local Nerdfighter friends. It says Nerdfighters Think Green. There's my Harry Potter poster. That... That is the bandana that I had to wear around New York in August when my flip-flop broke when Hank Green was there, and then Hank was like, that's really hardcore. Um, can I sign it? And I was like, um, yeah. And it's still on my wall because it's great. And, um... That's just embarrassing. Okay, bye.